You need to stop being a little bitch around women. Oh, but Frank, girls like nice guys. You've seen how in all the Disney movies, girls always go for the nice guy. Shut up, bro. If you're anything like me, when you were younger, you were told, oh, if you want to get girls, you just have to be nice to them and tell them how much you like them and buy them gifts. And how's that worked out for you? You've seen that one masculine guy who actually gets all the women, who women respect, who they want to be with, who they desire to be with. Don't you want to become more like that guy? Well, that's what I'm going to teach you today. My name is Frank. I help young men through self-improvement. That clearly interests you. So do us both a favor and click the like and subscribe button so more young men can see videos like these. People who have told you that you just need to be nice to women if you want to get girls have lied to you. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you to be rude. I'm not telling you to be mean. I'm not telling you to be an asshole. But I'm just saying that just being nice, just being a kind guy is not going to work out for you. So with that being said, I'm going to give you four traits you can start developing today to become more masculine. Number one is to have an abundant mindset. You need to stop putting women and the girls you talk to up on this massive pedestal. So many guys, when they go out with a girl, they come from the frame that they need to do everything they can to impress her. They need to do everything they can to get her to like them. Why not think to yourself, what can this girl do to impress me? Why not think, hey, I'm a prize too. When you actually go out on a date with a girl, instead of worrying so much about losing her, instead of thinking, oh, she's the only one, oh, I, I can't mess this up with this girl. Realize that, bro, like, if you mess up with this one girl, if, if this one girl rejects you, there are so many out there. There are so many girls that one rejection, one bad date is not going to kill you. You're going to be totally fine. And this will allow you to be much more relaxed, much more confident, because you're coming from a place of abundance, not of scarcity. Masculine trait number two is leadership. Don't be the guy that goes, oh, uh, where, where, where do you want to go out to eat tonight? Uh, do, do you want to go out on a date with me? No. Be the captain of the ship, bro. Take charge. Be the one who makes the plans. Hey, um, I'm picking you up at this time, and we're going to go do X. She'll go, oh, sweet. Okay, sounds good. Because the truth is, most girls, they want to be with a guy who just takes control, who's in charge of the situation, who knows exactly what's going to happen, who knows the direction, not only of his own life, but the relationship. And you have to start that by taking control of your own life, by knowing exactly what you want. Because how can a girl trust you to lead her if you can't even lead yourself? So you first have to take control of your life, start doing the right things every single day on a day-to-day -day basis. Stop playing video games all day. Stop watching porn all the time. Stop just being lazy, sleeping in, going to bed late. Like, take care of yourself first. Show that you can do that. And then be the guy who's a leader in the relationship, who tells her, this is what we're going to go do. And most girls will greatly appreciate that. Number three is to be stoic or emotionally controlled. This means that no matter how high something is, no matter how low something is, your emotions always stay centered. You don't let something destroy you. You don't let a girl get on your nerves. When a girl is doubting your masculine energy, she will test you. She will do things like maybe poke some fun at you, maybe cancel a date, or do these little small things that if you overreact to, if you all get all pissed off and get mad at her, it's just gonna turn her off. She's gonna say, yeah, this guy has no nuts. He's a, a total beta male. Okay, confirmed, don't need to go out with him. So never let a girl get on your emotions. Never let a girl disrupt you. Always stay centered. And this even goes for like, bro, when something good happens, when things are going well, like don't raise your emotions up so high that you're blinded to things. Don't be that guy who starts getting some wins, who starts having some success and then gets complacent. Being stoic, being emotionally controlled doesn't only apply to bad situations. It doesn't only apply to when things are going bad. It also applies to when things are going good, always thinking logically and not letting your emotions get swayed. Number four is to build your physique. There are so many things about your looks you see all these guys who say, oh, uh, if, if you're not six foot four with, with uh, $500 million net worth, then uh, you, should just, you should just give up, bro. And I say, f*** that, bro. There are so many things about your appearance that you can 100% control. Because I do think appearance is important. I think that the better looking you are, the more opportunities you'll get. The more girls will take an interest in you. But there are so many things you can't control, so why would you focus on those? Instead, focus on maximizing the things you can control. You can control your, you can control your physique. You can control how hard you train in the gym, how healthy you eat, how well you take care of yourself. That is all 100% in your control. And if you say it's not, if you go, oh, it, I have bad physique because of genetics. Shut up, bro. You, you're just, you're making excuses. You're being a little <laughs> We don't want that here, okay? Don't make excuses. Control what you can. Become your best self. And if you need help with that, go click the link in the description. I'll have a workout plan for you that you can completely follow. And it's for free. You don't have to pay me or anything. So with that being said, bro, I want you to say, you know what? I'm tired of being a weak and feminine and submissive guy. I want to be more masculine. And I don't care if there's this toxic masculinity narrative, what other people think. I want to become my most masculine self. I want to be the type of guy that girls desire to be with. And bro, you absolutely can. 
And I'm not going to lie to you. It's not going to be, oh, instant. You're not going to instantly improve. But if you work hard for six to 12 months, build your physique, build your confidence, bro, you can become a completely new version of yourself. But you have to take your life into your own hands. You have to take control of your situation and you can't let other people bring you down. And you can't be the guy who just wastes his life away and doesn't do anything. So work hard, stay disciplined, and you will become your best self, bro. I know you can do it. If you found this video helped you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you for the next video. Love you, bro.